is Rock Parties of All Time, the 1972 Ziggy Stardust Tour by David Bowie. In freezing cold Boston, thousands of fans attempted to get into a party on the 45th floor only to be rebuffed. That didn't stop them, folks. They started to climb the outside balconies of the hotel with ropes and bungee cords and crampons and all kinds of other mountain climbing equipment just to get close to Ziggy Stardust. It's rock parties of all time. 1992, Alice in Chains, The Dirt Tour, Olympia, Washington. 17,000 fans get together after the show. They said, let's go down to the Denny's and get some pancakes. Except that the Denny's was already filled with bird watchers from Spokane. Did they put any pressure on the restaurant? Did they get in any trouble? Was there any conflict? No. All the Alice in Chains fans did was go down to the beach, smoke a bunch of peyote, and watch the sun come up. It's rock parties of all time. In 1978, in Omaha, Nebraska, during the Waylon and Willie tour, of course, featuring... Waylon Jennings, and Willie Nelson. Now, before the show, so much marijuana was smoked in the parking lot that a huge cloud filled Omaha and then spread throughout the state of Nebraska. And every single cow in the state went through one month worth of their feed in 48 hours. It's rock parties of all time. REM in 1992 during the Automatic for the People tour in Albuquerque, New Mexico. A local super fan organized a fanfare before the show, but didn't realize 90% of New Mexico was going to show up. And what turned into a fun party started to become a riot, and the police forced the band to play an impromptu outdoor show to keep them restless because the local police thought they were going to start to riot and then attack Texas. Rock parties of all time, Portland, Oregon, 2005, Fallout Boy, during their From Under the Cork Tree tour, had in Portland one of, if not the biggest, Fallout boy fan club in the world called the Fallouters. Now, 17,000 Fallouters decided to get together and parachute to a pre-designated location next to an insane asylum for a private secret party. And all was going well until chaos broke loose when Pete Wentz landed on a hang glider in the middle of the party and people went wild. Now, the party itself lasted three weeks and would have kept going, but the police prevented party members from going on a beer run to replenish the kegs that had just gone dry. It's rock parties of all time. In 1971, the Sticky Fingers tour of the Rolling Stones. After their last Manhattan appearance, there was a rumor there was going to be a wild party at the Central Park Hilton. Hundreds of thousands of fans descended upon Manhattan. So many so that bodies were pushed into the ocean and thousands had to swim across the Atlantic Ocean to save their own lives.